In this video, I am going to show you how we use the premium version of LinkedIn called LinkedIn Sales Navigator to get 120 new customers and generate over 257K in new revenue in 2023. I'll show you my exact process, my scripts, my client results so that you can steal it while it still works. In the end, I'll also give you a bonus offer so you make sure you still stay still at the end of the video. Before I do that, what even is LinkedIn Sales Navigator? So LinkedIn Sales Navigator is one of the premium versions of LinkedIn and it's got a bunch of features that make it better than a free LinkedIn account. Like I've, I'll put a screenshot here. You can look at all the differences. We even wrote a blog on it. I'll link it in the description below. It can show you how many people and what people are visiting your profile. It can allow you to send more in-mail messages because you know, in-mails actually get you a higher response than cold emails. That's, that's what the data says. Allows you to search more people on LinkedIn. It has a higher search limit. It allows you to save searches, you know, go, gives you a fancy badge with a golden icon. And then you, you get access to LinkedIn learning as well. If you want to do some courses on LinkedIn, you can do that for free. And it's got a bunch of other features, but these are not the features I like. The feature I like the most is the advanced filtering available within LinkedIn Sales Navigator that allows me to build very, very targeted prospect lists that you know convert to real dollars within a three to six month period. So let me just sh share my screen and show you how this thing would actually work for you. Okay, so once you log into LinkedIn, this is what the interface looks like. This is the LinkedIn Sales Navigator interface. And we love it, of course, because it's got quite a few advanced features that we really like, right? Let me show you an example. So here, once we get into LinkedIn, there's a lot of filters here, right? Like there's company filters, there's role filters, there's personal filters, there's buyer intent, there's best path in recent updates workflow. I know it's gonna get, a, get confusing very quickly, but this is what you need to take a look at. So there's Basic filters, which means what is the current job title of the people you're targeting? What is the headcount of the company? What industry they're in? What geography they're in? All of this basic stuff is cool, but let me show you what the what actually gets you results. So in sales, one of the big, big things that's important, it's timing. So my first favorite filter is actually the change jobs filter. So if you filter by change jobs, this will show you all those people who switched jobs in the last 90 days. So let's say you sell to VP of sales. What you can do is you can find out all the people who, who became a new VP of sales at a new company in the last 90 days. And research shows most of the new initiatives that a person starts, a decision maker starts, they start within the first 90 days. So if you can get a conversation going with them within the first 90 days, then you're much more likely to close the deal. So now what I do is once I have this list, I just reach out to them uh, saying, hey, Joseph, congrats on the new role at Vena Security. Just curious, you know, are you looking at LinkedIn as a lead generation channel or are you going to stick to cold calling and cold emailing, right? So with this, I just um, have a great conversation starter and they can say either yes or no. And on the basis of that, if they say yes, I can just, you know, take them towards a sales call. So that's how... Uh, my first filter works. On to the second filter, my favorite one is actually posted on LinkedIn. So these, this is again in recent updates. So if you filter by posted on LinkedIn, you get all the people who are active on LinkedIn, right? At least, you know, they're posting content. So if they're active on LinkedIn, then they're much more likely to actually respond to you. You know, a lot of research shows that only about three to 5%. And in some cases, some research shows it's 16%. But in my experience, it's, it's very low. Only two to 5% of people ever post on LinkedIn. So why is this important? So you, you have very limited bullets now, right? If you're going to shoot, you should shoot at people who are actually there to respond to you. So since a lot of people are just not active on LinkedIn, they just have a profile. What I do is whenever I'm reaching out to people, I just filter by posted on LinkedIn and that gives me all the people who are active. So I'm much more likely to actually get a response because they're coming there to post. So they might see my message and actually respond to me if my message is good and relevant, of course. So this is number two. My favorite filter number three is actually the connections off. So I've got a few influencers who are my friends and whenever I want to get intros from them, what I do is I just go search for connections of, for example, Jesse, who's one of my friends and he's a, he's a big B2B influencer as well. What I do is I try to look at, um, connections of Jesse and people who are, you know, uh, let's say, you know, head of sales, uh, somewhere, right. Or head of sales development more likely head of sales and business development. So this, this gives me a very targeted list for For example, I can just say, Hey, do you know Scott or do you know Steven? Can you make an intro? So this helps me reach out to uh, them indirectly through Jesse. And this makes it very relevant for me 
to actually end up getting a response from them right i typically reach out to uh, you know vp of sales so he has a lot of vp of sales in there and this helps me you know actually get a lot of conversations going this is this is tactic number 3 you're actually using somebody else's network to get more leads so this is a great one on to filter number 4 It's actually LinkedIn groups, right? Like I showed you in a previous video as well. LinkedIn groups is a big part of our strategy, and we combine LinkedIn groups with LinkedIn Sales Navigator to e to you know make it even more laser targeted. So let me show you how that actually works. So what I do is I go to LinkedIn groups. I go to the groups filter here, and let's say this is one uh, of my favorite groups to target. So whenever somebody joins the LinkedIn Social Selling group, um, you know they're sure to get a message from me, uh, from me, right? So. <laughs> I'll just search for social selling on LinkedIn. This is the group, and of course, I don't want to reach out to everyone in this group. So I only want to uh, reach out to the people who are in the business development space, and they are, you know, um, in the US because that's our target geography. So now, or at least North America. So North America, you know, social selling on LinkedIn, um, business development. This gives me a very targeted list, and then I can reach out to all of them and say, Hey, Amir, I uh, saw you in that. Uh, social selling group just curious are you using linkedin social selling to get leads right simple question right and that ends up getting very good results so that is number tactic number 4 number 5 is viewed my profile so you can see my recent statistics right i've been posting a lot of my a lot of content on linkedin and it's driven a lot of new followers i'm getting eight new followers every day and i'm i've got you know 11000 followers on linkedin and in the last 30 days i've got 28000 impressions so not bad right since i post four to five times a week and make 30 new comments every day i get a lot of profile views since i got a lot of profile views if i see somebody is in a sales leadership role i just reach out to them and say something like hi there you know i so i see that you're in a sales leadership role at the company would love to connect and network that's it short and simple no pitch in there right that increases my chances of getting a response later on all right on to filter number 6 years in current position this is i feel one of the most underrated filters that helps me you know make sure i'm reaching out to the right people so if i go to uh, filter number 6 i just filter by years in current position and let's say i only want to target 3 to 5 years more than 3 years and i am targeting let's say business owners right so now when i'm reaching out to these people i know that they are you know they're not immature business owners it's not their first year of operation and they would have money to invest in something like a social selling program like ours to actually get them better results from linkedin right so this helps me reach out to um, people like michael and say hey michael saw that you're uh, you're a, you're a business owner would love to connect and network with you just curious what do you think of uh um, lead generation via linkedin or have you tried social selling yet something like that right and that ends up getting a lot of good results all right so that's it for the filters now my favorite tactic is actually to combine filters so these are my six favorite plays i can just you know uh, put a screenshot here but early tenure decision makers in high growth industries so this is something i like some people who change jobs in the last 90 days you know uh, who have a job title at a high level they are in a industry that is high growth in general which is tech for example and company headcount it is already 50 to 200 employees so then you know they might be interested in you know applying new vendors uh, implementing new solutions changing vendors to increase their growth so that is one very good tactic so combining filters filter number 2 combination is active engagers in a specific geography so posted on linkedin plus geography plus job title you know plus industry so this gives me very very active people like i said number 3 is leveraging connections like i said the biggest thing is to filter by my business advisor plus sales leaders plus company you know if i'm doing target account based marketing and post it on linkedin this becomes a very very active list then group members with specific lists in large companies if i'm reaching out to larger companies they typically have a budget so i can definitely reach out to them use my group membership as a conversation starter and then start getting results then engaging profile viewers in target markets so people who are viewing my profile who have the right job title industry and geography that actually gets you good results and then establish small business owners this is how you get real results if you're using the years in current position filter all right so these are the few uh, sales plays these are the combinations of filters you can take a screenshot run one of these plays and get results let me show you some real results of how we use the group play play number 4 to get some really good leads right so this is one example of um 
that whole thing so for example i'm looking at this person particular person replied and these are all the results we're getting right so if you look at this particular message um sahil here says that just saw that you're a member of sales management executives and notice your profile on my feed i was wondering if you guys acquire clients from linkedin and then you know a bunch of follow-ups and he ends up responding to that i'm strong today but interested in your platform right so becomes a lead uh todd says number three you know might be a lead for later joseph says appreciate the note he might he is not interested uh mike uses a competitor so that's good as well uh, tiago says i'd like to learn more so it becomes a lead directly so we're getting a lot of leads some people are asking what our website is so yeah this is one play that's getting us good results but you have to understand that we do it at a very high volume so you need an automation tool like sales robot to actually get you good results because we're sending about 500 nearly 500 group messages a day some days we're sending close to 1000 across multiple linkedin accounts to actually end up getting a high volume of replies back to us right if you don't do this you'll not get enough replies and you won't be successful and you'll think what's wrong with my strategy those are the tactics that we use to leverage linkedin premium to its highest level we combine it with an automation tool like sales robot and used fil features inside use filters inside of linkedin sales navigator to build very targeted lists to build to use the groups feature to actually send very high volumes and get very good results uh, that's it for now uh, from me in this video stay tuned hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you like the content and let's keep this thing going